Hello everybody, my name is Ryan Montruccio, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to write an expression that will let you control an effect in a pre-comp, like comp2 here, from a control layer in your master comp, like the control layer that you see here. Now, it's a very simple expression, and I'll start off by showing you what the effects are. It's CC Twister, so you see this is comp1, this timing is fine, and at 5 seconds, this is comp2 comes in, and you see change me. Now, if we need to change this, normally I have to go back to my pre-comp, go into here and change it, then go back to my master comp and see if my timing was correct. Well, doing this expression, I can link up all my effects throughout all of my comps into a control layer, which you see here, slider control. So, first to do this, I'll show you what we do. The first thing we want to do is create a new null object. So go new, null object. And then I like to select the object here, hit enter, type in control. I'll call it control one so it doesn't mess up the current expression. There we go. Once we have that, then we go to effect, and then expression controls, and slider control is what we'll use for this one. There we go. And we're done with that part. I'm going to delete this because we don't need that anymore. We already have it here. Then in our comp2, we're going to go to the keyable thing that we need, which is our completion. And type in this. So the first layer is going to be t, the variable t. Let's select here equals comp master comp dot layer comp two dot endpoint. Now this says give us the time we're going to set the value of t to the endpoint here where that is, which is at this as you can see 420. That should be at five seconds exactly. Let's see if it's at five seconds. Yeah, at five seconds exactly. So. That's what our value of t is going to become. And the next line is, we're going to say comp master comp layer control, the effect slider control slider, and value at time is t plus time. That offsets everything, so the effect will happen exactly when we set it in here and in here. So, as you can see, we'll go enable on you here to open this up. There's our keys right there. Let's scrub through that and see it happen. And then I can take my keys and slide them where I want and you can see how it changes it. So now I don't have to go to my pre-comp to change anything. I can do it all from here. Now, as I said earlier, we can have multiple controls in here. So I'll go, first thing I'll do is I'll name this. So I'll select it click enter. I'm going to call this comp2 um, twister. Okay. There we go. Now if you look back at comp2 here, it's actually changed the name right here, which is perfect. So now, when I'm in master comp, I can add one more effect go to expression controls and we'll add another slider control, why not? Boop, there we go. Now I can link another effect to say from comp1 or something else going on comp2 or another pre-comp or multiple pre-comps or what have you. So that is it. That is how you write the expression and I will post this expression as well or at least I'll copy this expression that you see here and post it underneath the video so you'll have that to explore and play with. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching and happy compositing.